What's up, TCG fam? It's me, Tiffany, and I am back with another live cooking session. Today, I'm going to be making some halushki, cabbage and noodles. That's right. Good old Polish food. Um, I've got my... Um, I don't know how to flip this camera once I'm live. So that really sucks there. But um, let me just show you. I've got my onion here. I've got my two heads of cabbage that I'll be using. I've got my butter here. I've got my skillet over here. So hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it's going to be really hard for me to do this because I don't know how to flip it around, but I am going to show you what I'm doing. So don't worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and cut up my onion first. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're all doing great. I did already make my noodles because as you know, the noodles only take a couple of minutes. Um, so let me just show you those. I have my noodles here in a bowl that I already made up. And so that is that. I'm just cutting up my onions right now. And then I will show them to you guys once I have everything chopped up. Hello, Kiwanini Vlogs. Welcome, Mitch Fenny, Auntie Wang. Hello, hello. Alexis, welcome, welcome. Hey, guys, thanks for coming. You can flip while you're live. Yeah, I don't know how to do that yet. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I will try it, though. Give me a second when I'm done. I'll try. I never flipped while I was live, so I don't really know how to do that. Um. But anyhow, um, so here's my onions all cut up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some butter into my pan. And I take a big scoop like this in a spoon. That's how much I use. Um, and turn that heat on. And then I'm going to go ahead and put those onions in so that I can get those translucent. Now, let me try to flip this camera and see what I can do here. Um, Mitch Fenny says, can you cook for me anytime, sweetie? Anytime. Anytime. Let's see. If I go to that, it says post, comment, layout, private chat, broadcast info, settings, or cancel. That's all it says, Kuanini. That's all it says for me when I go to do that. So I'm not sure how I would do that, but that's okay. Anyways, I'll show you guys. I have my butter in here and my onions in here that are going to get translucent. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and let that fry up. And... Um, while that is frying up, I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up my cabbage um, and coring my cabbage. I was just talking about this the other day that, you know, my grandma used to make uh, halushki all the time. And, uh, you know, I had missed the fact that my grandmother is not here anymore because she used to always make cabbage and noodles for me. And she was the only one in the family that used to make it for me. So I make it, but it's been a very long time since I have made it. So um, I was just talking about it and I thought, well, you know what? I was just talking about this. And I said, I have got to make some cabbage and noodles because I have been wanting it so badly. Um, 
And I said to myself, I have got to make some. I've got to. Now, how I make my cabbage noodles is I cut it up into strips. You see these strips? I like to cut mine up into strips so that when it's cooking, it will cook down a lot faster and a lot easier when it's in strips. So I like to have it in strips, little strips, big strips, just strips. And like I said, it will cook down faster that way. Um, at least I've ha found. And um, I did already wash everything and then I put it back in the bag, just so you guys know. Um, the stuff has already been washed. So. Let me go ahead and finish cutting up this cabbage. Hey, Sky TV Vlogs. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming. Raymond Santana, hey there. Hey, hey. Psyche's Adventures, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for coming to hang out and watch our cooking show today. I appreciate it. Much appreciated. And I've got my onions over here that are just frying up in the butter. Those smell so delicious. Don't you love when you're cooking up onions and they're frying up and the smell that they give off is just so fragrantly Let me show you guys the onions here. There they go. They're cooking up. Nice and good. So how is everybody doing today? How is everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing great. So beautiful cooking. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Looks appetizing. Well, I hope it tastes as good as it looks when I'm finished. <laughs> it's been a while since I've made it. However, I still know how to make it. But, um, you know, when you haven't made something in a very long time, you're kind of like, did I do it like this? Did I do it like that? You kind of second guess yourself. You you don't remember if you did this or did that and you know well it's because i can tell you this i'm not putting bacon in this recipe but um i have put bacon in my recipe before where i'll fry up the bacon and crumble it up into the halushki when i'm finished if you've never tried it like that you have to try it like that it's really really good it's really really good You'll definitely have to try it like that um, with bacon if you've never tried it with bacon. Just cutting up all of this cabbage here. I like to use a lot because as you guys know, when it boils down, um, it does make less than it would if it was bigger. Um, just give me one second. Okay, so the onions are frying up. You guys may or may not see G-Force in the background here. She's kind of helping me out. 
Hey, Sid, 88 Ohm, like number nine. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for liking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Um, the onions, as you can see, I'm going to show you guys, are getting really translucent. So I'm about to take those off. Those are looking pretty good right there. I like them right about there because they're going to cook in with the rest of the food as well, too. So I think I'll take those um and take them off take these onions off here and those are looking pretty good I don't like them to get too dark because if they get real dark, then you start tasting like a, I won't say a burnt taste, but it just kind of changes the taste of your food if you overdo your onions, if you know what I mean. So let me get those off right quick. All right. there. All right. Now I got my pot here and I'm going to put another huge scoop of butter into my pot. Um, two scoops actually. And I'm going to go ahead and start dropping in my um, pot all of my uh, cabbage and we're going to want that on a medium fire I like to put uh, usually about this much water into it as well. And then, hang on one second, guys. All right, guys. And while I put all of this cabbage in there, I'm going to season my cabbage with salt and pepper. That's it. Salt. and black pepper. That is all you want to season your cabbage with. Salt and pepper. Believe me, it sounds simple, but it tastes best with just the salt and the pepper. I still have all this cabbage to put in here, so. I'm just putting the rest of this in here. And as you guys know, it will take a little time to cook down. The 
the cabbage will take a little bit of time to cook down. When I show you the pot, it's going to look like a huge, huge pot. But all of that will be half of the pot by the time it's done cooking down. If you guys have cooked cabbage, you know that when it cooks down, it's not what you put in. So, let me clean up my mess here. At the same time, I'm trying to, I like to clean as I go. And throw all these core pieces away. Let me just clean this off here. All right, here we go. All right, and I did add quite a bit more cabbage. So um, again, you just want your salt and your pepper. I'm going to add a little more salt and pepper on top because I also added more cabbage. So here we go. Here's the pot right here. It's going to go ahead and it's going to take a few minutes to cook down. I've got my butter, my salt, my pepper, and my two, approximately two teaspoons of water in here as well. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and that's gonna cook down. And as it's cooking down, I'll continue to stir it. Cause you wanna make sure that you stir it or the bottom of your uh, uh, pan will burn. Let's see if I have my metal. No, my metal spoon is what I was talking about. And I don't know what happened to that. Maybe I, I'll just use this one. I don't know what happened to my metal spoon. Hey, Lisa Lodge. Hello, hello. That's okay. You're not late, honey. You're not late. Sky TV says, bye-bye now, host my work. That's okay. Good luck at work. Have a great day. Thank you for coming as long as you did. Stir, 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 stir. And like I said, you see how big that pot looks. However, however, guys, um, the uh, when it cooks down, the pot was full. I mean, this is a pretty big pot I have here, but um, the pot is full, but when it's done cooking down, the cabbage is going to be probably half of that pot. So I used two heads of cabbage for this, and you can use however many you want, but in my family, we have four people, so um, I always use two heads of cabbage. Lisa says, I love cooked cabbage. I know your I know your kitchen smells yummy. Yes, it does. Especially the uh, grilled onions here that I already sauteed. Um, you guys might hear the air fryer beeping. That is because I'm also making some chicken wings. Um, I know, weird combination, halushki and chicken wings, but chicken wings are my favorite food. That's what I wanted for dinner. But I also wanted halushki too, 
So we're doing chicken wings and halushki. So that's what you hear is the air fryer. Um, you hear the chicken wings that are finished. So let me get those out of the air fryer. See those nice and crisp chicken wings. And um, so yeah, weird combination dinner, but uh, <laughs> that's what I wanted for dinner. And so why not? <laughs> You have the other ones that are not done yet. So I will put those back on. Um, however, here are the ones that are done. <laughs> so, can you guys see them? So I know that's a weird combination, but um, that is what I wanted for dinner. That's what I made tonight, chicken wings. <laughs> Queen Chantier, hello, you all. I just wanted to stop by and say hello, hello. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it. Just gonna stir up this cabbage. And I want to show you guys um, how much the cabbage has already went down um, by cooking up already. You see it was filled, the pot was filled, and it's already almost halfway down um, in the pot. So the cabbage is cooking down. And... Um, I like to add my onions after my cabbage cooks down. Then I add the onions because I don't want the onions to overcook. So that's what I'll do there. Lisa says, oh yeah, that looks delish, right? I can just smell the aroma from the cabbage and it just smells wonderful. This is gonna be a little longer video, but that's okay. Um, because when I'm finished cooking it, I'm going to actually set up and mukbang it for you guys as well, so that you guys will get to see um, everything, you know. Um, but yeah, it really does smell wonderful in here. And I can tell you the nostalgia from smelling the cabbage um, really just makes me go back to those days when my grandmother used to make the halushki for me um, because I used to always ask her for it. I used to always say, Grandma, can you make halushki today? And she'd be like, no, I'm not going to make it today, but maybe I'll make it this week for you. And I'd be like, okay, that's fine. And it was just because she always made it. And she just, I don't know how she made it in her own way. I can never make it like her, but she just always made it taste the best. I think it always tastes the best when it comes from somebody you love. You just appreciate it more because it's from them. So anyways, I make it, but it's probably been a good, I don't know, two years or more since I've made it. And I really, really have been wanting it. So, um, you know, 
I decided today, you know what? I'm going to make it. And I went and got my cabbage. I had my onions. I made my noodles already here. Um, so once the uh, cabbage does cook down, I will add the onions and the noodles and everything. Laba Mus. Hello, hello. Welcome, Laba Mus. Thank you for coming. Guys, if you are watching this cooking live stream, please give this video a thumbs up for me and share it out, share it out. Share, share, share. Sharing means caring. Let all your friends and family know what the TCG fam is doing. Guys, this smells amazing. And I always use my big pot because I always make so much. Um, you can't possibly use a frying pan if you're going to make two bags of the cabbage because um, it's just too much. And uh, when you're trying to turn it and flip it and do all those lovely things that you want to do with it, you just, you can't do that in a frying pan. So. Laba Mus says, thank you. All the best to you. Good work. Yes, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I think I'm going to get a drink while I'm cooking. I'll be right back. I think I'll have a little A and W root beer here. Welcome, Sissy Olivia. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming. Laba Must says yes. Olivia says Lisa Lot. Hello. Hello from Sissy Olivia. Guys, if you have not checked out all of our participants that are participating in our Get Fit Challenge, it's our 30 day Get Fit Challenge. Please check out some of their videos and watch them. They're doing a great job. Um, Every single day, they're doing something new and fun. Um, it's just absolutely amazing. I am currently not able to participate, so I'm not participating, but um, I'm really trying to get my health back to where it should be from COVID. Um, and as soon as my breathing is completely better, um, I do want to still do a get fit series um, as I had planned before doing exercise videos. So that will be coming as well. It won't be a challenge, but it will just be me doing exercise videos for you guys. Um, and that will be my get fit journey. So, hey, love channel. Thank you for the Tom sock. Mega Olivia says, Villa, good morning. Love channel says you look better now, host. Yes, I feel better. I'm not 100%, but I will say I'm about 75%. So I feel 75%. I feel good. I feel great. Um, as of yesterday, I started feeling really good. Um, here's, here's just an over uh, for you guys. But these are all the pills that I'm taking. I have all those pills. Plus, I'm taking zinc. Zinc is really good for you. Um, this is a cough medicine that I have to take. Um, I also have an inhaler. I have an inhaler in here that I have to take. So I have a lot of 
medicines that I've been taking to try to get better. So hopefully, hopefully it works. I still do get winded um, every once in a while and that's okay, but I'm working on it. So yes, thank you Love Channel and thank you everyone for the prayers for healing. Uh, me and my family have come a long way getting rid of COVID. Um, Big Belly Boo Boo is still struggling a little bit with his breathing, but he's getting better every day. Um, we're both getting better. His first day back to work was yesterday. He did okay. Um, I told my job to put me back on the schedule. So I'll start back to work sometime this week. And hopefully I'm able to do well back working because I, like I said, I feel good. I feel about 75% great. Um, I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm getting there. Bridget Brown. Thank you for coming. Love and blessings to everyone in the chat from Houston, Texas. Olivia says, good morning, Amiga love. Love channel says what's for dinner. Love channel said you'll get there host. I am making halushki. I am making halushki right now. It's cooking down. So that's why you can't see it. But here is the halushki. It's cooking down. My cabbage is cooking down. And um, so that's what I'm doing right now. And I have the noodles already prepared for those coming in that did not see. And I already fried up my onions. They're translucent right there. And I actually made some chicken wings as well. I have ch some chicken wings here because I love chicken wings and I wanted chicken wings. So weird combination, I know, but that's what we're going to have for dinner. And, um, that's about it. Um, it just takes time for the halushki to cook down. So that's what is going on right now. It's just cooking down the cabbage is just cooking down. That's about it. And I'm just stirring it and chit chatting with everyone. So Lisa Lott says, hello, Olivia. Love channel says, that's good. You all getting better. Praise God. You are a COVID survivor. Yes, absolutely. And you know what? The person who got me sick um, is a person who got the vaccination. And she actually ended up sicker than I was. And I wasn't vaccinated and she was. So if that doesn't tell you that the vaccination is not worth getting, I don't know what does. I can't personally think that somebody would want to get the vaccination, end up sick, really, really sick, and then pass COVID to somebody who is not vaccinated and they don't get as sick as the person who got the vaccination. To me, that doesn't make any sense. See, that's why it's a personal choice. The people who want to get the vaccination, you guys do you. We personally don't want the vaccination because they don't know enough about it. They really don't to sit there and say this, 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 or this, because all of the information that they've given about it, in my eyes, has been false. It's all been false. Well, if you get the vaccination and then you get COVID, you won't get as sick as if you don't get the vaccination. That is false. Somebody who got the vaccination ended up sicker than I was and I was unvaccinated. So that's why I said they don't know enough about it to sit there and keep pushing it on everybody. So it's a personal choice. If somebody wants to get it, go ahead, get it. God bless you. But me, myself personally, me and my family will not be getting it. And right now we have a natural immunity to COVID anyways, because we contracted it. So Doy Elmison Montecar. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming. Hey, Misha. Welcome, welcome. It is good to see you as well. 
It is so good to see you as well. Thank you for coming. And now they're trying to pass it to where children, young children, five to 11 can get it. They must be crazy. They must be crazy. I don't know any parent that would want to give their child that young something like that in their bodies that they have not enough information about. Huh. Love Channel says, Day Amazon, good morning. Good morning. I'm going to show you guys how how low this pot has went once again. You see how it keeps cooking down and it's getting lower and lower and lower. It just keeps getting down lower and lower and lower. So the cabbage is cooking down. Misha says, yes, we aren't either. Yeah, they don't know enough about it. And everything they've told about it so far in my eyes has been lies. I've seen it firsthand through people in hospitals and other medical settings and even personally. So everything they've said has been out the window. I really don't think they know enough about it. They're just taking guess and they're using everybody as an experiment to try to find out more about it. And in the process, many people are dying because of it. So I don't think they should be making anybody take any type of vaccine. Misha says, mm, love cabbage. Yes. Olivia says, day Omison, Montcar Yahoo. Good morning. Cabbage is going down. Vaccine is killing more people. Exactly. I know so many people and have heard of so many people that have got it and then they die. So it's like, okay, well, then they say, well, this person must have had underlying health issues and this and that. Listen, it should not matter if there's underlying health issues. If you're pushing this vaccine to people, this vaccine to people that you want them to take, then it should be absolutely safe for them to put in their body, period. That's how I feel. So, you know, anything that people are taking and it's killing them, I say, stop the production. Do not give it to no more people. Nims Lucito Vlogs. Hello, my dear friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming, guys. Thank you for coming. Make sure you thumbs up this live stream and share it out. Share it out. Share, share, share. Sharing means caring. Let all your friends and family know what the TCG fam is doing. I'm going to sing for you guys. <laughs> it takes a little while for the cabbage to... Uh, get done so i'm just glad that i'm feeling better um little boo came home today she got a scrape on her arm and another scrape on her other arm and on her knee on the playground today at um recess she was running with her little friend and she got a scrape so she wasn't a happy camper today but thank god that she never was touched by covid um, and we kept her away from us and with a mask and, you know, God spared her. So I thank God for that. And G-Force Journey is doing great. She just has a little cough like me. Um, like I said, so we're all doing really, really good. 
Nim says, thumbs up. Thank you for the thumbs up. Misha says, so glad you're doing better. Me too. Thank you, Misha. Thank everyone for the prayers. Everyone has been sending prayers and well wishes. And I really, really am so touched by the outpour of love from everyone on our channel that has been wishing us well and worried about us and wondering how we've been doing. So thank you all for, you know, reaching out to us. We appreciate each and every one of you. Let's see. Coming along. Coming along, coming along. Definitely coming along. But yes, um, we appreciate each and every one of your prayers and your concern. And we still try to support everybody. Even though we were sick, I would be sick in bed or laying on the couch and I would be on YouTube trying to watch people's videos and comment at least, even if I couldn't watch the whole video because I was so tired and sick, I would leave a comment and then I would just let it sit there and play. So even if I didn't watch it, it still played. And I still wanted to make sure everybody got the support oh thank you so much misha we got a super chat in the chat 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 thank you so much misha you also have an entry for our giveaway misha for your super sticker it's our members only and super sticker and super chat errs giveaway only. So thank you so much for that. And I will put your entry into the bucket. Misha's dancing says, you're welcome. Love channel says, wash hands, wash hands. Yes. This is how I do when I, when I want to check the stuff, I'll put some on here and then I'll grab so that I don't have to touch the spoon. Do you have your sense of smell and taste? Yes and no. It's coming back completely, but it's not completely there. There are certain things I can taste and certain things I can't taste. Now my smell is definitely there, but taste is not 100%. My taste is probably at I'll say 75% because there are a couple things. I won't say I can't taste it, but like, um, for example, today I wanted a Snickers bar. <laughs> I haven't eaten chocolate in forever, but I wanted a Snickers bar. And when I took a bite out of it, I could taste that it was a Snickers and it tasted good, but something about the chocolate tasted off to me um, to where it wasn't, how it used to taste to me, 100% chocolate. Um, I could taste it, it tasted good, but the chocolate had a little funny taste to it, that's all. So it, I'm getting there. And, and the reason I wanted the chocolate bar actually is because I feel like if I keep eating different things, it will bring my taste back completely because I wasn't eating anything because I was like just sick with trying to eat and not be able to taste anything because it just didn't taste good to me and I was just upset about it. So I figured, okay, well, it's not gonna come back that way. So maybe if I just start eating a bunch of different things, you know, not like a lot of food, but little pieces of little things, it will bring my taste back. So that's actually why I purchased a Snickers bar today because I just want to 
sample different textures and taste to get my taste back. Misha says, my son is still distorted since Thanksgiving. You know, and I've heard of that because my cousin said that they've had it in February and they're 10 months now with no taste. 10 months. And when he told me that, I was like, oh my gosh, don't tell me that. I can't go 10 months without eating or being able to taste the food. I for sure, for sure, do not want to go 10 months with not being able to taste anything. I think that the cabbage is down far enough that I'm going to go ahead and add my onions in, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and add my onions into the mixture here, and I'm going to go ahead and stir it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my noodles as well into my mixture. This might take a second or two because adding the noodles is... really rough to do. Okay, and now I'm going to show you guys. Misha says, LOL, he's mostly back, but says some things taste like catnip. I don't know about catnip, but mine was everything tasted like salt to me. Hey, Commander Vlogs, welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm with you on that one. All right, let's see. Here we go. Here is the finished product. It's all done here. So I'm going to go ahead, get it plated up, and I will be right back to mukbang with you guys so i'll be right back don't go nowhere
there we are everything is set up all right all right guys who's ready to eat me here is the halushki nice and finished here is the chicken wings looking delicious let's do a thumbnail with the halushki All right, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Big Belly's dish. And I'll put my dish. And I'm gonna set this aside, I think. And just leave the chicken wings up there. Um, uh, this is falling. Why won't that stay up? There we go. All right, now you guys can see. So, you know, I have some Lighthouse Jalapeno Ranch. I've got some regular ranch for the chicken wings. Hello, Olivia. Um, I've got some Red Hot here because I've been wanting some spice. Um, <laughs> I actually told Big Billy, I feel like if I eat a lot of spice, maybe my taste buds would come back 100%. So, we'll see. I don't know. Misha says, looks good. Thank you so much. Olivia said, I need one. Serve now, Tiff. Olivia, I have a whole big pot I just made. You're welcome to come and eat with me anytime, sweetie. All right, so let's give this halushki a nice first taste. And here's the first bite, everybody. There you go. Cheers. Mm. Yummy. The only thing I think it needs is a little more salt and pepper. And that may be my taste being off. No, it does need a little bit more salt and pepper. But I didn't want to put too much in the pan because I can't taste things right now. So I didn't want to like overload it. So I'm going to put a little more salt and pepper on it. But other than that, it's amazing. Very good job. Mmm. I didn't want to overdo it. So there you go. See that guys? Mm. There it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Pepsi to drink, guys. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Misha says, I love pepper on my cabbage. Yes. Pepper and salt. That's it. Some people might put a bunch of extra stuff, but you don't need it. And like I said, I have fried up bacon before. 
and crumbled it on top afterwards. And that is really good as well. But for today, I left the bacon off. It's optional if you want to put it on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. You guys know I'm ready to taste these chicken wings. Who wants a chicken wing? First bite. All right, wait, you needed some ranch? There you go. I need hot sauce too, huh? Well, now you're sounding like me. All right, there you go. There's the hot sauce. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Jalapeno ranch, please. Hmm? They have a jalapeno ranch. Please. Yeah, sure. <coughs> I didn't put it in a ramekin because I usually do. Misha says, yum, chicken. I know it's a weird combination, guys. Halushki and chicken wings, but I really just had a hankering for both of them. So I told Big Belly, I said, we're going to have chicken wings for dinner today and I'm making halushki. He said, that's fine by me. So that's what we had to have was chicken wings and halushki. Some jalapeno ranch. If you guys haven't tried it out, try it out. It's really good. It's a little on the runny side. But I like it. It's really good. Mm. Mm -mm. Delicious, guys. And I'm still drinking on my A&W root beer that I got when I was cooking. I usually don't drink soda, but I've been trying to drink a little bit of soda here and there just because I want it to boost back my taste buds. I apologize, I'm not talking very much. I will in a few minutes. Let us just get some grub-a-dub-dub -dub in our bellies.
So big belly. Last night was your first night back to work. How was it? Tell our fam what you thought about going back to work, how it made you feel. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to feel about it. It doesn't take a lot to be exerted. I mean, it did feel better once I was moving around. I mean, it did get winded and get me wrong. But as was, for being on sick, we didn't move around, didn't do much of anything. So it didn't, at first, it took a little to nothing to be winded having to take a break, but after you move around for a little while, uh, and I felt better. I mean, I'm not 100% by no means, but I do feel better after you get up and move around. So basically, if you kept moving, you felt good. But you needed to take breaks because you got winded. Yeah. But then when you stop moving, you start to feel bad again. I won't say it's feel bad. It's just you while you're moving around. Or you just start to feel sluggish if you stop yeah. moving. Okay. I get it. That's kind of how I am too. As long as I'm moving around and stuff, I do feel good. But like if I lay down on the couch and then I go to get up, I feel kind of sluggish again. I have my bones off to the side, but I understand what you're saying because I feel the same way. Want to bite, guys? Dropped it. Wait, what you expected? Or did you think when you went in you were going to have trouble? It wasn't as, as bad as I was expecting it to be, I guess. Because it's, I mean, it's hard to tell until you're actually moving around and doing all the work on how it's going to affect you. I thought it was going to be worse. I mean, I really thought I wasn't going to be able to move as much as I was able to. But like I said, once I was moving, it seemed to be okay. So you had a good first night back? Yeah. I'm definitely nowhere near 100%. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you had a great first night back. That's good. And um, I just want to thank everyone that's been sending us prayers and, you know, reaching out to us and giving good thoughts and everything. Yes, thank um, you. We just want to say thank you. Um, we're trying to bring you guys along the journey. I know you guys weren't there for like the hospital stays and all that and stuff, but um We've been trying to just bring you along <clears throat> as we go. And um, it's been quite a ride. I can say that. It's been quite a ride. Um, never would I have expected COVID to be the way it was. Um, out, out of a one out of a hundred, how would we rate getting COVID? A 
a one out of a hundred. I say if it was a one out of a hundred, I would rate COVID as a 50. <clears throat> it was not as bad as I had anticipated it to be, um, but it wasn't as good as I would anticipated it to be as well. And um, like I said, basically the worst thing that I think we had was the coughing. The coughing is the worst because it alters your breathing in so many different ways um, to where like, I couldn't even get up and walk from the couch to the bathroom without being like, <laughs> you know, because my breathing was that bad. And it would take me like five to 10 minutes just to be able to settle myself down and be able to breathe again normally because I had done that little walk. And it was just, it, it, you lost your breath. You just lost your breath. It wasn't that you exerted yourself or, you know, you did too much. It was just too much breathing, I guess. So um, I would rate COVID one out of a hundred of 50. That's how bad we had it, um, which is kind of middle. I'm sure there's plenty of people that had it way worse than we did. Um, they probably had a lot more different symptoms than we did. Um, however, I think everyone across the board is kind of doing the same thing. Zinc, vitamin C, vitamin D, all of your vitamins, um, inhalers, coughing, um, like syrup that they give you at the hospital and whatnot. So that's kind of like across the board what the medications are to just get better. And it's basically just pumping your body full of vitamins to get better, especially zinc. So, you know, we want to thank you guys for joining us. I'm full. You're done. <laughs> um, so we hope you all enjoyed this live cooking tutorial on Halushki and we added the wings, but um, thank you all so much for joining us and we will see you in our next video. You all stay, stay blessed, blessed, not stressed. stressed. Thanks guys. Peace. Mm -hmm. Peace. Out.